While West Midlands Football League rivals Wolves, Birmingham and Coventry flounder under a barrage of poor results and financial problems, Walsall have become a model to which many similar sized clubs aspire. Not a money-making opportunity is wasted. For the past seven financial years, they've turned in a modest profit, and they're so rooted in their local community that all of the interviewees we're going to hear from over the next few minutes went to the same school two miles down the road. Yeah. Of course, it also helps that they've suddenly clicked into gear on the field. Take me back to last summer and this football philosophy that you tried to, what, ingrain across the whole club right down to the youth level? Uh, absolutely. Um, we'd had a couple of years, difficult uh, relegation battles, and it became clear we're not, we're not going to buy away at this league. So what we've got to do is develop players from inside and we had to develop a philosophy. We spoke about during the summer about not being a club that everybody just talks about from being the one they can see from the M6. You know, about being the one who develops players and, uh, you know, plays the right way. We sat down with the players and we asked them how they'd like to be perceived by other people. Um, you know, I think we was playing Yeovil the next game and I said, how would you want the Yeovil scout to look at you? What do you think he said about you in the Coventry game and how would you like him to? I said, well, we've got to, put, we've got to start working to get that. And we, we won the next game against Colchester and from then on, it. it kind of uh, took the monkey off the back and we've gone on and been consistent and uh, played really well. I've actually forgotten already, wait a minute, the beard differentiates. Yeah. James uh, Adam. Yeah. Slightly different. Yeah, yeah. You're a little you're a little bit oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get off to a good start. <laughs> and what kind of reaction do you get from opposing teams? Does it does it freak them out? Um I don't know, you know, you'd have to ask them I think. But um it takes us back to when we were younger because we used to play together when we were younger, so um I think a few people had a bit of uh, difficulty telling the difference and I think they've got past one of us, then the other one comes around the corner and uh, tackles them, so uh, I think they do struggle a little bit. So, how about this for tying in the next generation of supporters under 12? Get in for free with an adult and a season ticket for 12 to 18 is just £46. But you get £2 back for every game you attend. £2, 23 games. How much pluck does it take to be letting the next generation in for free in these difficult economic Times. I mean, you know, we all want the extra pennies. Yeah, of course. I think we, we had to take the decision because we've got an ageing supporter base. Unless we did something pretty drastic, um, you, could, you, could, you didn't know where the next generation of supporters were going to come from. It must be a wonderful feeling to be around a club that is on the sort of run that you were on. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. I mean, because from the, from the start of the season, we was, you know, the favourites to go down. We're just enjoying ourselves, we're having a really good run and we're enjoying it and we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves or we want to do, because this is such an unforgiving league. You, you have to be at your best and earn every point. Like Walsall, Crawley are also hoping to be in the end of season shake-up. Their manager, Richie Barker, promising to throw caution to the wind in an attempt to make a late surge into the top six. After a goalless first half, Jamie Proctor crashed the Sussex club into the lead. The plan of going all-out attack appeared to be working a treat, but when Jamie Patterson got on the ball, he was intent on repairing the damage. His shot had the keeper beaten, but not the post. But with 20 minutes left, Crawley scored the goal that put them in total command. Aaron McCary did brilliantly to keep out Nicky Adams as header, but Paul Hayes was on hand to smash in his first since joining on loan from Brentford at the start of the week. Walsall will now heading for their first home defeat this year, but in the final minute, Patterson found himself on the end of a sweeping move before drilling his shot goalwards. He'll claim it, even though it took a big deflection off Matt Sparrow. Despite the late setback, Crawley had little more than five minutes left to see the game out, but in stoppage time they crumbled. Walsall's man of the moment, Will Grigg, in just the right spot to notch his eighth goal in five matches as the Saddlers celebrated a point as if it were a win. Well, resilience is a great quality, don't you think? Yeah, it is. I mean, two late goals to, you know, preserve the unbeaten run. And as I said from the start, it's one game at a time. Um, I thought we deserved it, though. Uh, you know, I, I was starting to think it wasn't going to be our day. You know, they've got really good players, so it was always going to be a tough game, but really pleased with the comeback. 
Well, interestingly, it was at Warsaw on Tuesday night to see them win 2-0 uh, against Tranmere. Loads of scouts there looking at the latest talent to come from the production line. But interestingly, Dean Smith has had to work wonders. One defeat in 14 without a permanent number two since January. Yeah, I think he's promoted Neil Woods. Hasn't he has, since, yeah. Uh, which so Kelly left uh, for Bristol City to, to work with Sean. Um, I, I, th I think in the last two weeks, I've spoken to three managers who've all claimed they've got the smallest budget in that league. <laughs> um, I would put, probably put Warsaw in amongst that as well, there, yeah. you know, when you look at it. So it just shows. I think both those managers have done, done really good jobs this year. Um, obviously, Dean Smith, to mm. get Warsaw away, he's got them. It's been fantastic. And Richie Barker, you know, a club where, you know, have, have pulled the wings in a little bit in recent years, has, has had a good year as well. So, yeah, two, two good jobs. And for the Sandlers, it was the nature of that victory that is the most impressive. Well, not a victory, it was a draw that was the most impressive. Yeah, I mean, to come back like they have, I mean, you know, you've got to do it if you're going to, you know, that sort of club and, and, and be where you are in the mm. league. You have to do it always, you know, and, and they've played some good stuff in recent weeks. Yeah. But that's a real show of character and spirit, isn't yeah, it, to see that was. game through.